Hello everybody, welcome back to another Immortal Jellyfish video. In this video we're going to spend our time talking about the host panel and then the custom match commands because even though they added the host panel, there's still some match commands that aren't included in the host panel for whatever reason. So you still have to type in the custom match commands. If I do miss any commands or something that does currently work, make sure to drop in the comments below, it will help people out. Uh, that said, um, I do make Bed Wars content pretty often, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Bed Wars content. On that note, we're going to start off by the host panel, and then we'll move into some of the missing custom match commands that I noticed. So, starting off in the host panel, you'll find it up in the top right corner of your screen. This will be here for PC like me. Uh, I do got a screenshot here for mobile, as you'll see it's in the same top right corner near the team colors. That said, once you got that open, by clicking it, you'll see your team generator. This will work exactly the same, except for instead of having to type slash set generator multiplier, uh, you'll just come in here and you'll type that. So the smaller the number, the faster the generator. So if we go 001, you'll see that now my generator is super fast. Uh, and that works with the, the emerald generators. That works with the diamond generators. You could just type those all in there and that's how it'll work. Deathmatch time is basically whatever time the game has to go on for before it says 60 seconds until the bed breaks. Once that happens, the game is set to break the beds no matter what. It will not stop. It's somewhere in the coding that that's as soon as deathmatch timer comes up, it is time for the beds to go on their countdowns and break. So if you want to null and void that because you want to build something or you want to do something wild in custom match command match games, you can simply just put like 999 and then click out of that box and as you'll see our deathmatch time has been set to this which basically means that the game's just never going to end now unless somebody manually breaks the bed next up you'll see team overflow this is a new one so team overflow basically if it's on like it is currently this will allow teams to have more people so say i'm playing squads but eight people are on a team and that will be allowed if i turn this off when we're in the spectator box only four people will be allowed on a team that said i'm pretty sure you have need to put this on before people start joining the game because I feel like if a team's already got an overflow to it, this is not going to kick them off that team. Uh, next up is hide all name tags. It's as obvious as it sounds. If you're hiding name tags, it's hiding name tags. If you're not hiding name tags, it's not hiding name tags. Uh, that's all the options there. Uh, in players, this is super nice. If you got any trolls, you can simply just go into the players and blacklist them for whatever you want to get rid of. This will keep them out of your game. They won't be able to join back. Uh, next up we got items. This is how you'll disable items. So if you don't want somebody getting a certain one of these items, for instance, I don't want people to have any blast proof ceramic in this game mode for whatever reason, uh, they'll no longer be able to buy that. So yeah, no buying blast proof ceramic now. What's also cool about that though, is if you change your mind, you can go ahead and enable it and now people can buy it again. So super nice, super convenient and uh, just overall really fun for custom game modes. Next up is kits. Now with the kits, much like uh, the uh, overflow thing, I'm pretty sure you wanna activate this in the spectator box because even if I disable all kits, you'll see that Yuzi is disabled, but because I already have my special sword, you'll see that uh, I can still use my ability, which is weird. I don't know if that'll actually deal damage to anybody, but it, it definitely still is enabled and you could use it for the movement speed. Uh, so, But as you can see now though, I can't buy those special swords. But if I come back in here and I enable them all, uh, we'll notice that I can now buy these swords again and I can use my kit once again. So you can definitely do that. Now that is all that is contained in the host panel. So obviously, if you know your custom match commands pretty well like me, you'll notice that there's some missing. So just a quick go off some that are missing that I caught off the top of my head is lucky airdrops were not in the host panel. So to do that, you'll just simply type in lucky airdrop. And if you do that, We'll get the lucky airdrop to start coming in and uh well wherever they're at it worked earlier anyways that's how you do your lucky airdrops so that's super simple and then the next up is toggle spawns i know toggle spawns were not in the menu not sure if that's just messed up oh it was right above my head the whole time uh anyways toggle spawn so if you want dodos this is the one you still need to type type in so slash toggle spawn space dodo and then you can put true uh, once you do this, you'll see that successfully enabled dodo spawns. Now, I don't know if I see any dodos up currently, or if that 100% is still working, but I mean, it does let you type it in, so theoretically it should spawn dodos, but I'm not sure because dodos don't naturally just spawn, and this one was originally made for 
Jimbo Slice's tournament during the Dodo thing so they could get rid of Dodos. Uh, but you can also do Slash False and this will turn them off. Uh, but I just don't think Dodos are really spawning anymore to begin with, even if you enable the command. Either way, that's all the commands I could think of off the top of my head and everything. And kind of thinking over it a little bit. If I did miss any, like I said, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, that, that basically makes up all the custom match commands slash how to use the host panel. It's not too difficult. It's pretty fun for making custom match games with friends. So yeah, that said, this is going to go ahead and wrap up this video. So it's time to thank our YouTube members. Thank you, Mom of Peace. Thank you, Redwood Deadwood. Thank you, Cupid Axolotl. Thank you, Darkest Troller. Thank you, Tiny. And thank you, A9 Gaming. It does help out a ton, and I appreciate y'all for being members of the channel. On that note, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.